it's a pleasure to talk to you about this film. It is a tribute, first of all, to anyone who's ever left home mm. uh, and felt uh, homesick. What was the essence that you wanted to capture? Well, it's a profoundly important story and very, very moving story. And um, the most important aspect of the film for me was that it would feel emotional, not sentimental, um, and not in any way ironic or detached, that you just had to be right in there experiencing what Eilish was experiencing as she goes on that journey. And that if that worked, you would be able to feel uh, the, her dilemma and her pull between two countries and those two men. And in a, in a larger sense, the two um, lives that she has to decide which one she's going to live and realize that actually in the middle of it all, the only life she can lead is her own life. True. Well, was the novel a starting point and an end point for you in the sense that it was always there or a movie becomes a movie when it leaves the page? Uh, a little bit of both. You know, it's, a, it's, it's such a perfect novel, um, which is terrifying, of course, because you're aware that there's an oft-repeated maxim, you know, good book, bad movie, bad book, good movie. And this is about as perfect a novel as you will ever read. That said, um, Nick Hornby um, matched it with about as perfect a screenplay as you could ever wish to have. And whether it's because he's a novelist himself, he seemed to have such clarity with what needed to be left in and what needed to be left out. So um, that was a great blueprint for us to be able to take uh, this to the screen in a way that would just work on its own terms as a film. And yet, in the back of my head, there was a bit of me always thinking, but we have to be true to the spirit of that book, because it's if you if you change and go off on another tack, it will be just other, and it won't actually express what's special about that book. Absolutely, and we you also had to recreate the aesthetic of the period yes. as well uh, in a, in a truthful way. What was most challenging recreating Ireland at the time in the fifties or Brooklyn itself? Uh, Brooklyn was probably more difficult, yeah. but Ireland was really difficult as well. There's no question, both sides. I mean, when you're you're doing a period film. Um, you know, I, I wanted it to have a very natural, unforced feel to it and didn't want the um, sort of art direction or the costumes to scream, look at me. I wanted them to sort of be, in a way, almost thrown away and that you would assume the period and so that it wouldn't announce itself as a period film because it felt like the immediacy of her, of her experience needed to be what was foregrounded and the rest of the stuff could, would, would take care of itself. And that, I think that's what helps make it feel quite real in a way um, but it was very difficult shooting in three different countries on the budget that we had yeah it's always difficult on a budget always, <laughs> to, to no matter, shoot yeah, anywhere. Always. Uh, obviously the movie is carried by a heroine that herself goes through such a story arc and such a layered personality mm. throughout that you needed an actress that can morph that so you know there's something very special about Sasha isn't yes. there? yes oh my god yeah 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 I mean there always has been but what's particularly special here is that she's giving a performance which is taking her from being one of the most interesting young adult actors around into being a proper, proper heavyweight actress. She's in every scene in the film and... Um, she carries it. She does carry the film, yeah, she does, she totally does. And in the year leading up to the shooting of the film, what was interesting is that she went through all the same things that Eilish had gone through. Um, and that wasn't by <laughs> my instruction, she just happened to, to move, move away from home and uh, moved to London, got a flat, got a boyfriend and sort of had a life for a while in a way that she hadn't because she'd been on film sets a lot when she was younger and quite sort of, um, you know, looked after at home. And uh, I think she was very struck by um, how sort of grief stricken she was for that part of her life that she was leaving behind, which was her childhood and that she was becoming adult. and. Um, and was in a very particular place, which is, you know, she certainly didn't feel like London was home. But when she went back to Ireland, um, she didn't really feel like that was home either because she had changed and, and the way that she was viewed by, by Ireland and she viewed Ireland was different. So, so she found herself in the same place that, um, or a similar place that Eilish does, which is, is um, sort of uh, discompobulated and hovering between two spaces. And not belonging to somewhere in She's particular. She's an exile, yeah, feeling like an exile, basically. And, and that actually there comes a point where then you have to sort of make a decision about that, which is almost an existential problem, which is choosing who she's going to be and, and embracing it, which is, is, um, is a different thing to the idea of having pure choice. It means that you have to jettison the things that you're not going to do in your life in order to go in, 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 a, 
in a different way. Yeah, especially in the concept of, of, of the film as well. It is quite a drastic decision to make. Yeah, it's, it was it's, quite poignant. It's very it's laid very clear that dilemma is 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 um, very black and white in the film. But um, but that's what I found very powerful about it is that it's it's um, the same dilemma that a lot of people go through, but it's just thrown into much stronger relief in the in this version. Thank you. And then a final question for this uh, version of the interview. We're talking about awards and buzz and all these things. What do they mean in the context of launching a film that must be very important to you? Uh, well, I guess it means that it's reassuring that the film has reached a certain level of attention and there's a certain amount of conversation about it, which is very nice. Um, you know, the, the, the really important thing about the film is um, that we made it because there's a point behind it to be made about this period of Irish history and to try and get um, this story, which has largely remained untold, right, to get it right on screen. It, that, that was the driving force and motivation. And um, anything else, it's great. But it's sort of, um, uh, you know, that said, Saoirse deserves everything that she gets from this process because... It's an extraordinary performance.